girl, you know what I'm talking about. Those vibe killing, vampire sucking BS people within your industry that it feels like they've taken over your entire city. What's up my good vibe DJ tribe, especially those of you that feel like you live in a vibe killing city. A friend of mine recently made a post about how inspired he felt after doing one of his out of town shows, how he felt this new exhilaration and excitement about his career. It's something that I was super excited for him about, but also something that I could personally relate to. I've been there, I've done that. I've done the out of town gigs and felt like, oh my God, I wish my city had this. Oh my gosh, like I feel completely and totally inspired and now I wanna do all these other things that I did not even realize I wanted to do until now. And it's not to say that your city sucks or that some other city is better, but sometimes just visiting somewhere new, having a completely blank slate, not knowing anybody's drama and just going out there to rock it can truly inspire us. It lets us see things from completely different perspectives. And that's something I really want to focus on today when it comes to living in a local scene that feels very cliquey, that feels like you know, you're completely segregated from everybody else. And I wanna talk about how if you're living in that type of situation, there's a hidden blessing. Having people support you feels wonderful. You feel on top of the world. But ask yourself this, if you were told that you're pretty much the best DJ anybody's ever heard, would it really inspire or push you to try harder, to learn more, to be better? And we see this a lot, right? You go into a club and you hear a DJ play and they're mediocre at best. And you think of some other DJ in your industry that would be perfect for it, but they're not getting the booking. Now we could turn around and say, well, that's not fair. They should be getting that booking and treat the world as we wish it were, but it's not. And this is where you can take those blessings, those opportunities and think globally. I wrote an article on this subject once before, and I really think it's so important that if you feel like you're not reaching out to the people that you hope, maybe you need to cast your net bigger. Now, I really truly believe that we should be using small nets, you know, getting very niche in the people that we are trying to attract. However, Sometimes that means reaching outside of what you think your demographic is, right? So maybe you think you need to focus on your city, but you actually need to see where that niche is. Maybe it is somewhere completely different. Maybe you would get way more fans if in Europe versus Canada or the US versus Australia. Maybe you would get more notice for your music if you looked more to the artsy fartsy fashion week type crowd versus this cliquey, cliche, whatever crowd you think it is. So I really wanna implore you to discover more, to look for inspiration in places outside of your city. Even if it's just watching YouTube videos of artists in other countries and picking apart the things that are going on with them. And you might be surprised to learn that there are loads and loads of very famous people that were not well supported in their industry. And for whatever reason, it pushed them to go bigger. All right, that's the end of the vlog. There's nothing more to say. There's, I'm just kidding, there's tons to say, but we'd be doing this forever. So don't kill no one's vibe. Go to the places that don't have vibe killers. Thanks again, guys, for watching the vlog. If you enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. All good. Leave comments below so we can keep the conversation going and story tell, story tell, story tell because this is how we connect with other people and build our community. We share these experiences and we share these helpful tips and tricks that we use. Thanks, guys.